Good morning, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Chrissy and this is Penny. If she's coming over, <laughs> I've got I've still got Penny. I bought her a jumper yesterday, so she's got a nice little jacket on today. Um she's bought her little sheep as well. That's her little toy sheep. <laughs> oh, she loves it. Oh, she's funny. Um if you are new here, I do prediction readings pretty much daily, guys. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit the bell notification too so you know when my videos pop up. Please feel free to comment and I'll get started and we'll see what comes up for the 11th of April. <laughs> I think Penny will have a sleep. She usually has a little morning sleep. She's funny. Okay, let's see what we get. Gosh, I'm getting this visual of um, like a really dark cloud like a really dark cloud and dark energy. We talk about that a lot here, the darkness that's been trying to or black out the light, I guess you could say. Um, and I am getting that. It's like the it's like a storm that's about to the clouds about to drop all the rain. That's what I'm getting is over the earth at the moment, this big dark cloud <sighs> that's about to drop its rain. Um, we know that's what's exactly going on with the reset agenda and what they're trying to roll out and put on everybody. Um, I am getting that. I'm just getting this big, dark... Well, it's a heavy energy, too. If you think of a dark cloud, it, it brings, like, a heavy heaviness to it, too. Um, it's suppressive, oppressive energy. Um, that's the kind of thing I'm getting. This is globally. This is everywhere at the moment. They're really pushing... Um, that darkness they really want to take down the light we know they do we know they're very good at controlling any of the truths <coughs> oh. <laughs> scratchy throat that's always a sign of not being able to be heard um so i'm getting that definitely the big dark heavy clouds are over people now let's see where else we go I'm getting a song for us and because we are light workers most of us here are light workers we're trying to spread the light we're trying to keep the energy vibration high and the frequency up and I'm getting that song electric dreams living in electric dreams <clears throat> it's a pretty old song but I'm just getting this electrical vibration um it, it's almost like I guess I guess it's like I'm getting that image of E.T. when he finds home. It, it was done by um, connecting, like, frequency. I'm getting that. We all sort of connect here on my channel, a similar kind of thing. We connect by our energy. I mean, we don't even know what each – well, you guys know what I look like, but I don't know what you guys look like. But we, we communicate via energy. We can feel um, – we can feel things about the other people and that's what light workers do they're very sensitive um uh, they're intuitive um they have a real knowing um that's why i'm getting that song electric dreams and that image of the et phone home it's a connection connecting and when you connect more and more light workers and more um <clears throat> people who share their light and um keep the vibe up it, it creates more. It only become. It can only become brighter. Look at France. Can you imagine the connecting of the um, the frequencies and vibration and energy over in France? It's incredible, and they're actually even facing, like I said, the Black Rock officers, and they're burning down Macron's favorite restaurant. Like that's the light starting to take over the darkness, isn't it? If you ever saw it, guys, people have got more power than they actually um, realize, don't they? Little people feel like they're helpless and hopeless, but they're not. They have a lot of power and energy inside them. That's why we're getting that song, Electric Dreams. Living in electric dreams. Look it up. I think it's called Electric Dreams, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, that's what I'm getting today. Um, all right. Well, we had that song, Fireworks, the other day. So, fingers. We start to get a bit of fireworks happening now, guys. April, May was going to be the month. So, let's hope. All right. Let's see where else we go. Oh, and I didn't forget to mention to you guys too, they've, they've been doing their budgeting here in Australia and they're talking about the tax and they're actually going to start taxing middle income people more. How's that work? $1,500 more, I think it was, $1,200 or $1,500 more 
uh, tax with the middle income earners are, are going to have to pay. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Just the middle income, yes, trying to wipe them out even more. Oh, God. And people don't even do anything. They just stand by and let it happen. I don't get this world. All right, let's keep going. Sorry, I go off on a tangent. You know what I'm like. All right. <clears throat> God, I'm getting China's capital, Beijing. Is it Beijing? It is Beijing, isn't it? Um, I'm just getting... Oh, I'm just getting fight backs. People are getting their courage now in um, China. See, they don't want what they've been going through for the last, what, three years? Weren't they in a total lockdown for nearly three years? It was insane what went on over in China. They don't want it again. And the f people fought back and they fought back hard and they got their borders opened up. So I am feeling there could be a little bit of movement in Beijing um, to do with, oh, it's sort of saying riots, but definitely fight backs, definitely fight backs. Could be coming. It may not have started yet. Plus, we never see it on mainstream media, as we know here anyway. <sighs> All right, let's see where else we go. I'm getting New Zealand. I'm getting Hippo. And I'm getting that Hippo's building his little posse now. He's getting his little, um, his little, uh, well, I'd call it the entourage that works for him. He's, he's, um, He's taking them with him everywhere. I talked about him needing some bodyguards and some people to prop him up the other week. Well, that's what I'm getting for Hippo. He's going to take his little entourage because it makes him feel stronger and more powerful and more important. See, he's enjoying the importance of it all. We know that he is. Um, he's liking being a somebody because I don't think he's been a real anybody for most of his life. But now he's really enjoying being a somebody. So this could start to affect his ego. I hate to say it over there for Hippo. That's just what I'm getting. He's getting a little bit of a big head. <laughs> I often talk about these leaders and their big bobble heads. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm thinking hippos are starting to grow um, a little bit over there. As long as he's got his support around him, I feel like he feels stronger with his little mm, posse is the word I'm getting. Um, hang on a minute. I'm getting New Zealand, uh, I'm getting taxes, taxes, tax cuts, taxes. Um, see, it, it might start to happen over there too, what's happening like here in Australia, taking that middle income as well. But I, I do feel like taxes is a way they know they can make, well, we know the government can make money out of people. Um, just a little bit here and a little bit there, add a little bit of extra tax and that helps bring up the saying the deficit but it helps to bring things back into balance because then the government has more money in their little kitty um that's just what i'm getting for new zealand so he sees that as a way of getting out of the red meaning debt and and turning the country around he might look at taxes as well so remember a lot of these mm, leaders communicate with each other and they have similar ideas and plans and ways to get out of some of the holes that they've dug themselves into. Um, so that's what I'm getting. I think you might find Hippo might start to address some of the tax tax issues and how they do might need to look at some tax, um, extra tax. <laughs> we pay so much tax as it is, don't we, guys? It's absolutely infuriating that they're making us pay more well, here in Australia. So might happen in New Zealand to be warned. Like I said, they all communicate their ridiculous ideas with each other. It drives you crazy. Um, all right, let's see where else we go. I'm getting Japan. Um, and I'm getting... Japan's got a lot of resources. We keep talking about that here. They've got a lot of... Um, I'm getting that they're a smooth operator. Japan is a very smooth operator. They're very... They've got the smarts. They're very clever. Um... And, and I'm getting that song by, who's that song? Smooth Operator, Sade. Oh, 
I think I've got a song. Smooth Operator. I'm getting that song Smooth Operator for Japan because they're a very smooth operator. See, they don't use, they're not like China. They don't use the intimidation and threats because they're too smart. Um, they use their energy in, in a wise, I always say that, in a wise and clever way. Um, they use wisdom. Japan. It's an amazing culture, actually, Japan, isn't it? Um, it's very, everybody that goes to Japan loves Japan. It must be just one of those beautiful um, cultures. If you think of a Japanese garden or any of those, if you've ever sat in one of those beautiful Japanese gardens, they're very tranquil and relaxing. They do a lot of things that really clear the mind. Um, we've got um, a Japanese garden at one of my houses. We created a Japanese garden because we wanted that little bit of zen. Um, it's it's the one with the veggies at the back. Oh, did you see on Clown Planet, guys, just speaking of, sorry, I get so sidetracked, um, on Clown Planet, you've got to go check it out. It's funny as shell. They're interviewing this guy. I don't know where it is. I think it's America. And he's getting in trouble for growing too many vegetables. Yes, you won't be allowed to grow too many vegetables at home. That's the latest. <laughs> we knew it was coming, didn't we, guys? <laughs> oh, I tell you, never boring. So, I'll share that video actually to my Facebook page. You'll get quite a giggle. He used to share veggies with his family and friends and now they're trying to shut him down from doing <laughs> Oh, dear. We're not surprised, are we? So I'm getting getting back to Smooth Operator for Japan. They're a very smooth operator. Um, they know how to get countries on side. They're very smart. I am getting that. This is around commodities, resources, um, interactions like, commercial interactions and things like this trading swapping they're very good they're very clever japan all right let's see what else we get god i keep getting elbow <laughs> i keep getting australia don't i um that's because this voice thing i keep telling you the voice to parliament is a like a huge deal here for the indigenous but it's saying it's a ridiculous proposal. Elbow has got a ridiculous proposal. And he is hiding a lot of the information from people. People are going to have to go to the vote and say yes or no to this Indigenous in Parliament. But no one knows what's involved. And see, it's quite complex. Um, it's around the Constitution and all this kind of stuff. So, But Elbow won't tell anyone what it's about. He won't give people the detail. So whenever they're not giving you the detail, as we all know here, guys, don't we? Hmm. It's usually a little sus um, and there's never much in it for the little people. So we do have to wonder. So I am getting that Elbow's voice to parliament is a ridiculous um, concept is what I'm getting. Um, all right. Again, and it's showing me Elbow and it's showing me and he's like a Cobra hat, which is like an Aussie cowboy hat. Um, he's trying to herd cattle into a cattle yard and we know he is because the indigenous, they're trying to herd them into a cattle yard, aren't they? So again, we've got the separation again of people and trying to sort people into their herds. We know how it goes. So that's what I'm getting for Elbow. There's visuals of him trying to herd up the cattle with his voice vote. All right, let's see what else we get. Oh, yeah, the guides are just saying globally, get ready for it. They're going to really now, which we know they are, they're already doing it here in Australia. They're going to push the scams, the shams, <laughs> the hacking, all these scams. It's going to be worse than ever, ever. So now everyone globally will be needing, yep, the digital ID. We're all going to be needing it because of these scams, the hackers. Um, too many scams going on. Um, you will have to really get on board now because things are just, the cyber world is getting too dangerous. This is what we're all going to get fed now. We're going to, I'd say in the next month, globally, everyone's going to get bombarded with this because I feel, I feel, this is just me, I, I could be wrong. I feel that they've set a global date for the digital ID now. It could be November. I just, I feel like there's this push now they know they've set a date. This is everyone on board with the reset agenda rollout. Um, they know they've set a date, but they all need to get the people on board prior to that date. 
but that's the date they want it to kick off. And they're going to have to have it universal because it's going to come into traveling and all this kind of stuff. So everyone will have to be on board with it. So that I am getting that. I do feel like November. And they're showing me um, blue carpet for this. The blue carpet. Now let's see what that is. This is the part. This could be one of the new parts of the reset agenda. But I am getting shown. It's like a, a, a like a watercolor, like a not a deep blue, but a medium blue red carpet. Hang on a minute. Let's see what we get. Oh, I'm getting what they're saying with the blue carpet. They're saying it's like sea level, like everything at sea level. But what they're saying here, everything has to be the same. Everything has to be the same. This is globally, meaning on the same agenda. This is what the blue is, but they're showing me like sea level. If you look out at sea, it's all one level. If you're looking on the, on, standing on the beach, for example, and you look out at sea, it's all one level, even though it isn't. But Everything has to be on the same level playing field for this digital ID. That's why I'm getting the blue, the blue. It all has to be the same fit. It all has to fit the same system globally. And I'm getting that for November. It's kind of a blue, but oh, look at my messy dumper cupboard. Sorry, guys. I meant to tidy that up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it's between that blue and, and that other blue. That, oh, where's my arm? That blue and that blue. It's like in between. That's the colour blue. Um, hang on a minute. And see, the reason we're getting blue too is they're trying to give the illusion that this is such a... See, if you think of the colour blue, it's very calming. A lot of, pe a lot of people paint their little babies' um, nurseries blue to keep them calm and this sort of thing. And I think in a lot of Asian countries, blues are very calming um, colour. So uh, that's why we're getting the blue. They want everyone to just be on board and they want this to go to plan. And that's why we're getting the blue carpet reset. I mean, the blue carpet around the digital ID. Mm -hmm. We know where it's going to lead to the credit scoring systems as well. So you will have to prove that you've been a wonderful citizen. So they're, they're setting some dates for these. I feel November. They really want push, push, push. They make out in the beginning, oh, it's going to be up to you to do that. We know they've been doing that with a lot of these banks and things here in Australia. But I feel that they'll start off softly, softly, but then you won't have a choice. You'll have to get on board in order to navigate the world that we live in. It's so ridiculous. It's going to end up just like the QR coding BS. You couldn't go into any bloody building anywhere without your QR code check-in bloody app. Oh, it drives you crazy, doesn't it? Mm. So I'm getting the blue carpet because they're trying to make it sound um, soothing and wonderful, like the colour blue. I don't think it's sounding so soothing and wonderful to any of us, is it? We see through it. But I am getting that's part of the blue carpet. That's that's an offshoot of the Great Reset is the blue carpet. Because it's a big part of the agenda. If you think about it, it's a huge part of the agenda, isn't it? Um. All right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting this song. It's so old. And it's called, I don't know who sings it. Don't throw stones my window. Don't throw stones my window. Everybody will know my window. My window. And everybody will know. Don't throw stones. Don't throw stones. <laughs> oh god and you know what it is it's showing all of us throwing stones at people's windows trying to wake them up that's the, the song i'm getting it's really i don't know who sings it don't throw stones my window don't throw stones um where we are though we're throwing stones because we're wanting people to wake up and look out the bloody window so they see what's coming at them um so that's the song i'm getting for us don't throw stones my window. <laughs> just a, that's such an old song. I'm going to have to look that up, guys. I can't even think who sings it. <laughs> don't throw stones. Oh, more when we get some old music on this bloody channel, don't we, guys? But that's us. We're trying to, you know how, like, you'll often see in a movie a boyfriend or something trying to flick stones at his girlfriend's window to open it and come out and see him or something? Well, we're doing that, but we're doing that at the people waking up. <laughs> we're trying to get them to look in this direction. Instead of looking at this direction, 
<laughs> at all the BS garbage and lies, for example, the Trump show and everything else that's going on and <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Um, we're trying to flick stones over here so they look out a different window. It's what I'm getting for us. We want them to look at the real truth, which is usually out a different window. Oh, so I'm getting that song. Don't throw stones. Don't throw stones my window. <laughs> funny oh it's such an old song i don't know if that's an australian song or not guys but anyway i'll share it to my facebook page go check it out <laughs> if i can find it it's so old all right <clears throat> we'll get them to see this information and the truth eventually won't we <sighs> all right let's see what we get europe i'm getting europe climate changer <laughs> climate change I can't even speak. Climate change agenda is very high on the um on the list in Europe. It it it's all happening. It's at, at, I would say it's at the very top. So I'm guessing. Oh yes, you might go more of those lovely climate protesters that throw throw orange paint and yellow paint on buildings and artwork and glue themselves to cars. I feel like in Europe you're going to get more of this. Uh, oh, there's going to be just it's the climate stuff, climate change. It's very serious and you have to start addressing it. Um, we know that's going to start happening across everywhere, but I think Europe, you're going to get really hit with that now. So that's high on their agenda at the moment. Like I said, everyone's working on different things globally um, because they don't want to draw too much attention and make it obvious that, hang on, this is a one world reset and they're changing everybody's lives, <sighs> as we know. All right, let's see what else we get. God, I'm getting this quote, what a tangled web we weave. And I'm thinking this is for the leaders. Um, they're 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 weaving a very tangled web it's not like a standard spider web that traps people it's it's a web that's um not only trapping people but it's like killing people too like if you think of a spider's web they have they catch a few flies and bugs but then they like come out and they kill them their prey and then they wrap them up in their um their web and they store their food this is what spiders kind of do well i'm getting that's what the government's doing they're they're what a tangled web we weave. They're weaving a very tangled web. It's very complex. We know it is here. And, and they're really taking people down and trapping them in that 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 web of deceit, um, evil, um, so many things like that. Like it's not, it's showing me, it's not a beautiful spider web. You know how in the mornings you can get up and if you get a heavy dew or something you can see these gorgeous perfect spider webs hanging on the fences or the trees um it's not like that this is a this is a web that's like been there for like forever and it's all bedraggled and this is what the reset's doing to people's lives it's like all bedraggled <clears throat> and it's old and it's all full of old um dead flies and moths and all this kind of stuff that's what the reset's doing to people's lives it's like really tangled and confusing and 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 it's not simple we know it's not simple but this is the leaders that it's a tangled web they weave it's very it's really quite evil actually if you think about what they're doing to people's lives and small businesses and even jabbing people with god knows even what they have still got ads on tv here in australia i was watching tv last night and this ad came up i'll get your cv booster go on go and get your cv booster uh, you just can't believe anyone's still doing that. How are people still? Oh, I don't get it. Anyway, um, so yes, there's still ads on TV here. So the tangled web they weave, it's quite evil. It's evil. And they're really taking people down now. <sighs> All right. Let's see if it's something to close with today. Sometimes we get funny readings here, guys, don't we? Got to have a good imagination if you're on my channel. Um, God, I'm getting that ACDC song again. We've had it before. TNT, I'm Dynamite. 
and I'll win the fight. TNT, dynamite, and we'll win the fight. So it's showing me the TNT thing getting pressed down and boom, the bomb goes off. So I'm guessing April, May, this is the big uh, bomb going off, meaning the people exploding. The people are going to be, it's not going to be us. It's going to be all the people waking up who've taken off their bubble denial suits and are realising what's going on with their lives are being taken from and they're losing their freedom and they're going to blow up. Because I'm TNT. I'm dynamite. <laughs> so steer clear, guys. Duck for cover. They're showing all of us behind rocks and things like this with our heads hidden, um, protecting ourselves from the bombs and explosions and fireworks or whatever that are going to go off. It has to be coming. It is. Um, that's just what I'm getting. Hang on a minute. Let's see if there's something to close with. See, the thing is what the guides are saying too about us is we're not your stereotypical people. We're unpredictable. See, that's why government, that's why we're useless to government because we're unpredictable. They can't predict what we're going to do. Um, they know we're not conformists and we're not going to comply. So we're never their focus. Like, because they see us, as Trudeau always says, a small minority group, which we aren't anymore. We're getting rather large. And so I am getting that for us, that we're very unpredictable um, to government. They never know what we're going to do. And we can't be herded. We cannot be herded. They know that now, though. They know they can't herd us into the cattle yards because we just don't comply. We're too quick. We race off. We get off the radar. We, we charge. We charge forth and we take off. Um, so that's what I'm getting for us. Hang on. I'll just see what the guides have got to finish with today. God, they're, they're showing me again. We're getting back to that uh, Jack and the Beanstalk thing, and the, the big giant comes down the beanstalk, and it's saying that we can't be trodden on by a giant. And look, we don't really see. People like Sushi and Elbow and Hippo, etc., um, Biden, as giants anyway. And we can't, we won't be trod on by them because we're too zippy. See, we zip. It's showing us like the giant walking through with his big feet and he's trying to squash everybody. But we just dart away. We just dart away through the forest or we take off. We're, we're out of range. It's almost like, you know what it is? It's like they can't get the scent of us. Like, if you think of that giant in Jack and the Beanstalk, fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. It's like they can't smell us. Um, it, it's like we send off a different odour or vibration or something like that. They're not interested in us. They're looking for the real, I could say, suckers or employers, um, but we can't be trod on. We won't be squashed. We don't allow it. See, we don't allow it. It's a mind thing. We don't allow ourselves to be dictated to because we don't want it. Um, and we see it coming like we can see a giant coming, whereas some people aren't awake to that. So the giant's foot just lands right on top of them and squashes them down so they have no voice and no courage or strength. Um, but that's not us. We, we avoid the giant um, because we can see him coming. Um, and this is probably the giant reset. And the bloody global elites and bloody leaders. Um, we're just not on their radar. We're not on their radar. All right, let me see what there is to close with.
I'm getting Michael Bublé. God knows why we get some of these songs. I'm getting that song. Is it Sway With Me? Sway with me. Dance with me. Da da da. It might have rhythm inside of me. Sway with me. Sway with me. And that's what I'm getting. That Michael Bublé song. He actually does that song on Kath and Kim. If you guys know Kath and Kim, that really funny Aussie show here in Australia. I'll put it on my Facebook page if I can find the clip for it. Good for a laugh, I tell you that. He's great, Michael Bublé, so I'm getting that song, Sway With Me. So maybe that's just us dancing and having fun in Terra Bella. We always get music here. Sometimes we don't know why. Sometimes it can just mean something to one of you out there. That's why I always say it. Uh, let me see if there's something else to close with. I'm getting this song. Oh, it's so old. Oh, my God. Boom, 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 shake the room. Boom, 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 shake the room. <laughs> What's that song? Do you remember that song, guys? Seriously, that's the song I'm getting today. Uh, boom, 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 shake the room. Boom, 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 shake the room. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's probably called Boom, Boom, Shake the Room. Um, but that's what I'm getting. This means a vibration. When you think of a room shaking, it's all about vibration. We sent out vibration ages ago. When most of us protesters stood up against this garbage and nonsense. But now I'm getting this energy's like really lifting. And it's that boom, boom, shake the room. Boom, 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 shake the room. Um, I want you to play that song today because I want to. I, I need. We need to keep our frequency up. We need to know that these other people are starting to shake the room now. They're shaking up the leaders. Um, these fightbacks they must be coming because that's why I'm getting that song. Boom, boom, shake the room. <laughs> Such an old song. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous the music we get here, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. I'm going to leave you with that song. I'm going to say goodbye from Penny, although she's so sleepy. Look at her. <laughs> she's so tired. Look at her sheep. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> she loves her sheep. She's too tired to play with it. All right. Have a wonderful day. I hope your Easter was really wonderful, guys. And I will come on and talk to you tomorrow. Hit those like buttons. Please feel free to comment, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye from me, and bye from Penny. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Mm, puppy kisses. <laughs> Bye.